Well, DC United ping back now the Timbers. He's trying to boss the game. Can they create a chance? Can they create an opportunity? All the way through towards Cooper. It's a penalty! Referee Jeff Gamble points to the spot as Cooper was hauled down. And here's the Timbers' chance in the 64th minute. It's that man Yakovic again. It's the third time he's been physical with the Timbers centre forward in the second half. And they've been doing this all game. You'll watch Ke Kenny Cooper, 33. He's going to go for the ball. You look at Yakovic. He's got his arm around him. He's pulling his shirt. You've every right to give a penalty if the defender is holding you that tight and pulling the centre forward down. You cannot do that in the 18-yard box. DC's arguing Yakovic got the ball, but as you say, he had both of his arms wrapped around and perhaps part of the reason he got to the ball is because he was pulling Cooper away from it. And now, Kenny Cooper steps up. This is the Timbers' first penalty attempt of the season. The 26-year-old from Dallas, the team leading three goals. Can he make it four? Can he send the Timbers Army into their celebrations? <laughs> Saved! Flag is up! Flag is up! Goalkeeper Hadid came off his line! It's got to be retaken the penalty! The lines went across from us. Eric Proctor had his flag up saying that Bill Hamid, the goalkeeper, came off his line before Cooper struck the shot. It's got to be a retaken penalty. That's a big call from the linesman. It's the same guy who... Absolutely, no yeah. question. And it's funny, Robbie, you've been around this game. How rarely is that ever That's enforced? very, very rarely called. But you look at Hamid, he's on his line. Now he's stepped forward. Now he's jumped three or four yards away from his goal. Again, the, goal the goalkeeper keeper has to stay on his line when a penalty kick is taken. He is not allowed to jump forward and cut down the angle for the, the goal kicker. In economics, they call this the prisoner's dilemma. Kenny Cooper went bottom left. Hamid went to that side. Does he switch it up? What does Hamid do? It becomes a mind game yeah. now between the taker and the 20-year-old goalkeeper, Bill Hamid. Go for power. Put your foot behind the ball from 12 yards and hit as hard as you can. Ben Olsen's not happy, as you would well imagine. Another save, and again the flag is up! It's going to be retaken a second time! Unbelievable! Oh, this is unbelievable. I mean, Hamid's going absolutely crazy. DC United are losing control. It's going to be a yellow for Hamid for arguing. Now the question is, do you keep Kenny Cooper on it, or do you change it? That's twice now the goalkeeper saved again. Here's the same kick. Hamid jumps off oh, yeah. his line again. He takes two or three yards, steps forward. You cannot do that as a goalkeeper. Here's the rule, there's the steps, and that cuts down the angle. And then he chases after the linesman. All kinds of descents. And here's what's happened, by the way. As we're looking at the replay, John Spencer is out, and he's telling Kenny Cooper it should be Jack Jewsbury to take. Cooper's furious. He definitely wants to take it again. And John Spencer's yeah. barking at him from the near sideline, saying, you step away, it's going to be the captain, Jack Jewsbury. And they're still talking about it. This is fascinating. He's telling Kenny Cooper to, to leave it alone. I think that's good go That's good coaching by John Spencer. Jack Jewsbury has two goals this year, trying to make it three. There you go. Well done, Jack Jewsbury. Well done, coach John Spencer. Because Kenny Cooper wanted to go for a third time, and that all becomes a mind game. Jack Jewsbury goes on, has nothing to think about, but hitting the ball from 12 yards with pace. He does that, and the Timbers are back in the game. If in doubt, get your foot behind the ball and hit it as hard as you can. And Jewsbury does the very thing, and Hamid's going nowhere near that one.